Emma Murphy and I work for the Oxford Drug Discovery Institute which is funded by Alzheimer's Research UK. So we are an institute that's bridging the gap between academia and big pharma. So a lot of uh, people, big pharma, have pulled back from uh, neurodegeneration research um, because the targets are so risky and we aim to de-risk these targets. So we are hoping to take um, new targets from target validation through to hit to lead um, and then pass these on to Big Pharma. So we have a, a huge portfolio of targets. We're currently working on nine targets in, in various areas of neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's in particular, but also some Parkinson's disease. And we use the Ferristar for all our basic assays, um, for all our high throughput screening, um, we, we have different types of assays, so enzyme assays where we use fluorescence intensity, protein-protein interaction assays where we use um, alpha lysa type technologies, um, and we use it for, for everything from assay development all the way through to high throughput screening of hundreds of thousands of compounds. So the Ferristar FSX is extremely fast. We can read 1536 well plates very, very quickly. So we can screen hundreds of thousands of compounds. Um, we love the sensitivity of the FSX. Um, and in particular, it saves us on reagents. So for our alphalizer, we've noted that we can use half the amount of reagents and still get the same level of sensitivity. Um, so the, the speed and the sensitivity and the versatility uh, are all things that are really important and that the FSX gives us. So in the future, we would like to start screening larger libraries. Um, we're still in the assay development target validation stages of our assays. So we will be moving on to 500,000 compounds um, and the FSX will, will be the machine that we use for all of our high throughput screening in the future.